Dr. Lior Bar L, and today we're going to be talk, uh, doing an unboxing actually, and a uh, little review about the brand new. There we go. Let me get this in. Monfrotto MVH 502AH Pro Video Head. Uh, I got the flat base one. Didn't want the ball because I'm going to be using this on my slider and my crane. Um, you see. So I mean, this is. Oh, hold on. This is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing right now and uh, I'm going to review some things. I want to tell you what I like about this, what I don't like, uh, because you guys need to know before you get yourself any head, uh, you know, all of that. Let me just get this open. Here we go. Okay. So, I mean, it comes in a huge box. Uh, you know, I've used it before, so I pretty much know the size and everything of it. And it's, it's not like how the picture looks. It's really... A big monster I'm gonna tell you okay so it comes you know obviously with uh, you know directions and all that stuff how to put it together but this thing is big it's a monster I mean you could tell just by looking at it I mean this is the actual unit it's flat base as you can see so you just like screw it right in um, it comes also with just uh, one handle uh, so now let's see what we got in here no more Ta -da. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get get back to you right now, take it out of the plastic, and show you exactly what's what. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, so as you can see, this thing is a freaking monster. Uh, so it includes, obviously, this instead of a foam uh, handle. Uh, it gives you a rubber one with grips. Now, I'm going to tell you what I, I like and dislike about it. Okay, so first let's start with the liking part. Uh, the thing that separates the 500 model from this one right here, uh, you know, the 502, is the fact that you can control uh, the pan and tilt and uh, the resistance in it, uh, the fluid uh, drag, of course, all here. And now what I like about this technology, uh, this one, of course, you know, is found in both of them, is that it has uh, uh, the bridge, the new bridge technology, which is actually good uh, in terms of panning and tilting. But also what I liked about it is compared to my other Bogans, because I have more expensive ones, uh, it's like right here and you barely like you could just like kind of like thumb it around uh, to control the uh, tension on this one it's it's a pleasure just to stick your finger in and and do it now um, hold on one second okay so it has also a bubble leveler which uh, is pretty cool I mean every one of them has it uh, from my expensive models so I mean it's not a big you know a biggie has two rosettas obviously that you could put the handles on uh, and now they have also uh, threads here that you can uh, attach like a Noga arm, uh, a.k.a. Israeli arm, uh, that you can, you know, attach monitors and stuff to. Now I'm going to tell you what I, uh, okay, so first off, uh, uh, another thing is it comes with a big uh, base plate here for big cameras and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. First off, it's not a telescopic handle. Uh, as you can see, I mean, you, it's just like, I, I don't know, unless I'm missing something here, but uh, there's no, you know... There's no way you can actually stretch this out from what I am seeing here. So uh, this it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, I wish they included two, but whatever. You know, I mean, obviously they all include one. Uh, now here's the other thing that I don't like about it, the f which is really funny that they went this way. Uh, the 500 model, which handles less weight, okay, less weight, has this thing where you click like right here and you just kind of like put your camera right on there with the base plate it's not a sliding mechanism like this one is okay but you see um which i don't get because this one supports bigger weight and the uh, cameras with bigger weight are harder to do you know slide-ins and I, I thought that was a really great idea and they didn't employ that into into this one right here but uh what i do like about it is it also has instead of having the button over here let's say to press uh, their button is here to do the release now without this button obviously it's not gonna it's not gonna fall off now the thing that I like about it is also from the 500 you can control the tension but it also has counterbalance which is good uh, depends on the weight of your camera now I know it says that it can uh, do up to what 10 pounds or whatever uh, that's a joke because I've used this with cranes uh, you know, and uh, jibs and all kinds of other things that weigh way more. I mean, obviously, you're putting weight behind it, and it, it, it's a pleasure to use. Now, I'm going to tell you uh, what also is cool about this. It comes with a five-year warranty. 
Now, as you can see, I got the flathead one, not the one with the ball. The big difference is with the ball, for those that don't know, when you put it, uh, you know, when you put it in like with sticks, like with your tripod or what, whatnot, uh, what, what's going to happen is, you know, you're going to need to balance it out to obviously make this, the bubble, you know, also balance correctly. You're going to look at that and you're going to see it. Now, what you're going to have to do is always play around with the legs of the, uh, uh, you know, of the tripod. And, you know, doing that is a little bit tedious compared to just like with the ball, you just, you know, unscrew the, the holder on it and then just position the head itself. Now, I personally, I have expensive uh, fluid heads, all kinds, you, you name it. And uh, what I do is I, even though it, I have it uh, with the ball, I still do it, you know, with the leg. So I still do it with the sticks itself because I just, I don't know, it was just like something I grew up like that and that's how I learned and it's just natural with me. I don't look at it as tedious, it's just what I do. But uh, so that doesn't really bug me. The thing is why I got this is because I didn't want it uh, for my tripod. I have tons of tripods, uh, more expensive obviously than this one here. Uh, the heads of course also. Uh, so I wanted something just for the um, for my slider which came with like this little fluid head uh, tiny one that you just kind of slap your camera on and that's about it. I wanted a professional um, you know professional standard one so I got this one right here. I'm probably gonna get another handle like this I'm gonna look to see if they have telescopic ones so I'll get two of them because they're easier to control uh, when you're putting it on a jib or a you know all kinds of crane you know the cranes that you want to attach to this depends how big they are uh i did use this before like i said with my red camera uh red epic i used it with the alexa camera and now i'm using it with the black magic uh production camera 4k uh this is now i'm going to tell you since i have so many fluid heads of all kinds of, i mean every uh one you could think of uh, basically, I love uh, the Bogan, uh, Manfrotto ones. You know, I, I just, uh, it's the one I started off with and I always loved it. I love their quality. It's, uh, you know, manufactured in Italy, uh, engineered in Italy, and all that good stuff. Uh, I would have loved it if it was USA, but unfortunately, you know, they don't have that. But this is. Uh, for $250, okay, guys? And I got this on eBay. You know, never pay sticker prices to ask them for 190 bucks. Now, I'm going to compare this now to my other uh, heads. And what I'm going to tell you is this is professional grade right here. It's really hardcore metal. You could kind of tell. It, it has some weight to it, you know, but not enough to make you go all crazy. Um, you could support, I'm, I'm saying, I'm going to tell you, way over 20 pounds on this baby because I have done it. And I've also attached to it a big monitor. Now, a lot of people are saying it fell off. I think that's people that don't know how to screw things correctly. Or it just came out as a faulty device. So try it with something small because I tried uh, my monitor on it, which is a big 19-inch monitor. I screwed it into the Noga arm into this thing. And then on the other side, I put uh, you know lights. And it did not give me any trouble with a big camera on it. When I put the, uh, what was it, the Scarlet on it uh, before. And then I put the uh, Epic on it before as well using the same kind of uh, thing. So it's way over 20 pounds because I had the Mad Box and everything on it also. <clears throat> also. So guys, what I'm saying is, you know, for 190 bucks, I'm comparing this to a professional grade one. And I'm letting you guys know that this is amazing. This is just like... The ones that I have that cost over a thousand dollars, over seven hundred dollars, over eight hundred dollars, and it's really cheap. Now a lot of people were telling me if they should get the next step up. I think it was the five oh six or something AH or something like that by uh, the same company, guys. Um, I have used that on BNH when I went there. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I really don't see a difference. I mean, other than the fact that it supports uh, more weight. And, you know, other things like that. But, you know, you really don't need more than this. I'm going to tell you that. And if you're using it for a slider and, uh, you know, a crane, I would say just use this baby right here and leave it alone. If Now, if you're getting a tripod and you're starting from scratch, I would get the one with the ball. Um, you know, if you guys don't want to play around with sticks and stuff, I'm a fogey. So, you know, I do it that way anyway. It didn't bother me. I didn't care. And most of my, like I said, most of my other ones have the ball already on it. But, uh, like I said, 190, you know, the one with the ball is probably like what? If you ask them, it'll be like 210. <laughs> you know, it's not that much more. So, guys, uh, think about it. Lo you know, like, subscribe. If there's a love button, hit a love button. Uh, subscribe definitely to me because, I mean, I'm, I'm doing tests right now also to prove that the Blackmagic production camera 4K, some cameras do not have FPN. And I've actually filmed in the night, which I'll be releasing it very, very soon. Uh, I released other ones that I was color grading like before and afters. And uh, you guys could ch check it out on there. I, I completely review the camera. Um, you know, everything.
everything and uh you know with the uh, everything i use with it i i did the tilter rig i i showed you guys which is found apparently nowhere on the internet uh the video for it at least uh, i did also the battery which batteries i use for it which uh, uh battery pincher i use like the tilt pincher so guys uh subscribe you guys are gonna see a lot of other things coming out uh from this channel uh, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen it already, but guys, I mean, five year warranty on this baby, five year warranty, really sturdy, hardcore, ready for professional use. I've used it on several commercials already professionally. So, I mean, it's worth the money. It has the resistance you need. It's a true fluid head, not any of those other things. It actually has packets of fluid in there. Uh, so, you know, I would definitely give it a, give it a go. Uh, try it if you want to check it out go to B&H or I mean I don't work for B&H so I'm telling you go to any camera store out there that has this it's just uh, I live in New York so you know for me it's convenient to go to B&H and in B&H you guys could check it out they have this uh, on display and you'll see for yourself I mean this thing supports over 20 pounds no joke uh, and for $190 I mean that's really dirt cheap so let me know what you think. Comment below uh, if you have any other recommendations for everybody else. I mean, remember, we're all in this world together. Uh, so I welcome all comments. I do not take comments out. Uh, you know, just uh, leave me any comment about what you guys, uh, you know, want reviewed also. Uh, but also in terms of that, what, what heads you guys have and what which one you recommend, the pricing behind it. I mean, help others, you know, check it out as well. One love. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.